Caroline decide to get two necklaces with our names inscribed in it. We're going to use it to do Pepe Dem Gang. Ha! These two girls. And the Pepe Dem Gang has fallen into water. Trupu. Hello, beauties. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we will be reviewing the final episode of the season one of The Real Housewife of Lagos. I had to jump all the way to do this one because of the big fight. Like, without further ado, let's get into the video. No wasting time. First, we'll begin with the Yabo. During her introduction, she was like, she likes drama and like, this episode showed me that she really thrives on drama. Like, those sneak sneak comments she has been making, I can now see that it's really for the drama. Because the first thing, it started with um, a yacht party. And this was organized to continue the celebration of Tony's 40th birthday. This time around, Laura joined the yacht. And when Tony saw her, Tony was like, hey Laura, what are you doing here? Then no, Yabo said, eh, for my own day, you didn't come. After uh, Laura was like, she was there for twin. Yabo was like, eh, hey, so my, you didn't come. It means you don't like me. Like, girl, whatever, go and sit down. She has apologized for not coming. It's also made me realize that Laura really loves twin as a friend. So she would do everything for you. And as she said before, she didn't know you guys to like embark on any journey with you and she has apologized for it if you can't forgive her go and sit down also during the yacht party uh, laura and Tony were having a conversation when um caroline came along to come and ask for glasses and eyes from Tony, and Tony then all gave it to her like can't you see i'm talking to laura you are being rude even though she didn't say excuse before she started speaking, I didn't see why Tony had to like go for her hair like bam bam with you are being rude then all those things. It made it seem as if Caroline was jealous, which I think wasn't what was happening. So I don't think it was right for her to go straight like that at her, especially in the midst of everybody. Like Oh, for that place, I'll say Tony didn't try. She didn't try at all. Caroline was kind of embarrassed, so she moved to her scarf, which was Chioma. And that time, Chioma and Yabo were having a conversation. And from that conversation, I realized Chioma really likes Yabo, and Yabo treats Chioma like her younger sister because they talked about her relationship, what she wants in her mind, and all those personal stuff. Chioma also asked Mariam her thoughts on how to identify if the man is like really into her and mariam gave her two cents on it but she also made a point that i really like you listen i had to talk about my marriage because i don't i don't want people to know so you will not know what i'm enjoying exactly point blank period do you get me like that is very true sometimes not sometimes always keep your marital affairs private confuse outsiders don't let them know what is happening inside because the more you talk Oh, the more mess you, you allow people to dump on you for you to go and dump in your marriage. I promised myself not to cry among these ladies. And really, there's really nothing to hide. She crying in front of the girls and regretting. I really understand. Because with what happened at the end of this episode, I realized that none of these girls are loyal to themselves. So she crying before them can be used against her in the upcoming season sometimes when you are in the midst of women you have to keep your emotions and everything together you can't let your weakness show for the big fights that happened in this episode it was because of this during the end of the yacht party Tony told Yabo that um they will be moving to a different apartment and in that apartment they will be shot by one room so they decided that Chioma and Caroline, who are best of friends, would have to share a room. This didn't sit well with Caroline because she felt that she was an adult. She needs to like relax, release, like have privacy. So when they went back to the apartment, Yabo came to check if all the ladies were okay. And when she entered Chioma's and Caroline's room, Caroline just lashed out at him. And she told Yabo that she's insensitive. And Iabo then no wants to throw hands. Like, girl, we know you are street, but keep it classy. She just said you are insensitive. You can also speak to her and let her know that you don't like what she's saying. But you, you just want to fight, throw blows. Like, girl, come on. It's not a boxing match that you're coming to throw punches. Like, keep it classy and just talk. I didn't see why she wanted to go all bish, 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 bish on Caroline. But uh, Chioma stepped inside and Iabo just 
picked her up to Chioma somewhere and was going for Caroline, but it wasn't made possible. When all this was happening, the other girls came around, and when Laura came to Chioma, was like, "No, they want to uh, solve it themselves." But the other girls are in the room, so indirectly she didn't want Laura around, so Laura had to leave. And Laura went back quietly into her room, cause she herself she said that she didn't want this trip to be about her. She wanted uh, everybody to get to know everybody by themselves. After this buzz was the girls settled, they had a party. During that party, Caroline came. It was organized by Caroline Do. They all the girls came. They enjoyed. They had fun. But Yabo was still complaining about how Caroline was acting fake. I think the girl was trying to keep it classy, but Iyabo wanted to go for her. Like, girl, I know you love drama, but it was like she was just fishing out for the drama. She wanted to make a statement, say something to Caroline about her being fake and pretending that they are all cool. So if she had said that, bet me, Caroline would have responded and it would have been buzzed at the party. And it was in a posh place. So I don't think it was necessary for Yabo trying to go at her. I think Choma and Miriam did well, discalating and making everything normal and not allowing basketballs to happen and they enjoying it. Like, I really, really appreciate that. The next day, they had a pool party. So before um, the pool party began, they had to um, sit somewhere, eat and chat. And during that, Chioma once again came up with Tony was going to introduce her to a guy and everybody was looking at her like mm. But Caroline and Laura weren't having it because I think Laura knows the person she is dating and Laura was like girl Who are you lying to? We know you are dating and Caroline was looking at her like why do you need Tony to introduce you to someone you are an attractive woman you are a hard work woman you can get any guy you want so why do you want somebody to introduce you to someone but for the engagement thing that laura was thinking choma denied it and said she was never engaged she has never been engaged and she is hoping to get engaged soon so i was also happy that uh, Laura didn't say anything about her telling lies or her knowing the person she is dating personally. Like I like that Laura just stayed out of everything and let the girls do whatever they want to do. So Miriam came and told them the place for the pool party was ready, and the girls went. They went to have fun. what the pool fun is about dance have fun swim you know everybody merry and enjoy later chioma iabo miriam and caroline were sitting at the poolside and we're talking during that time iabo went to bring up the fight again and asked caroline why she lashed out at her and caroline was like oh she lashed out because she was frustrated because that day she hadn't eaten and she didn't like that the room uh, she had to share a room with Chioma and all those things then oh Chioma was like if you can do this to Iyabo then you can do that to me like girl shut the fuck up she's your best friend so at least if you, even if you wanted to make that comment it should have been private not in front of these other ladies and Carolina was like Oh, I have never lashed out at you and I wouldn't do that because I really like you and respect you Then Choma was like, but we also liked Iyabo Like it was like the girl was sucking up, was sucking up to Iyabo Like she was kissing her ass all over Caroline is your friend So even if you had some things to say about her, it should be in private Then Caroline was like, that is why I have apologized I have apologized kept apologizing and i've got her a gift to apologize then Chema was like i was the one who asked you to apologize and so even it can be true that you asked her to apologize but you can't come and say it in front of the others and she was like that is why i think your apology was not sincere like girl shush i thought you were matured and classy but the way you are behaving you are behaving as if you are not matured and you are childish and it's, it, it was kind of pissing me and Caroline off at the same time. Like, 
True, maybe you advise them to apologize, but you can't come and sit there and tell other people that you asked her to apologize. It makes it seem as if Caroline is a bitch. And already they have that perception about her. So I understand why Caroline got all defensive and was like, you didn't tell me to apologize. I apologized the first time. And when Iyabo didn't accept it, you asked me to go and apologize again. And I think like, this is my problem with Iyabo. I've studied that whenever you offend her and you apologize, she's not ready to forgive you. Because on the yacht, too, she reminded uh, Laura about the beach house get together like girl she has apologized just move on i think she has a problem moving on that's how i see it so trauma was so going and going and going at caroline who is their friend oh like it was bad those bad those you watch a bit of it me. Make, it make, shout, make it make sense. Me, make it make you sense. Make it make sense. You don't shout at people to Make it make sense. You don't shout at people. I, I wanted you to talk you don't to shout her. People. You said you were going to talk to her and I started shouting. Yes, yes. Because I was I'm the one that first of all make asked you that what was wrong with Auntie Yama And I said yesterday. she was extremely hurt. You need to go and talk to her. And I said and I was you said, Chama, I've apologized. I'm not going to apologize again. And I literally have to force you to apologize. So of course it's not genuine. And you and I both know that. You can see that Caroline too wasn't having it. And she called Caroline a liar. And Caroline was like, when I even went to get the gift that I gave to her an apology you weren't there and drama kept going and kept going and kept going then laura was like oh that's it you want to seem like the angel then let me pour out everything that she kept pouring their secrets about how uh, trauma thinks the ladies are rats how she uh, she thinks they are not serious she doesn't want to mingle with them and all those things like for that part i was really bored with caroline like this gossip was between you and i why are you telling somebody else like even if we are quarreling you don't have to tell somebody our secret like y'all just shut up keep quiet swallow the gossip let it get into your stomach don't bring it out so instead of it helping caroline kiss it made the others think that caroline was just blowing her trauma out to like let others see who um trauma is so in that case the others choose to support trauma who i think it's not a good friend because if she hadn't kept going and kept going at caroline caroline wouldn't have exploded as she exploded also caroline always used laura as a scapegoat because before the bus bus happened when they were questioning her she wanted to divert the attention from her so she was like, like let's talk about laura like girl is laura your scapegoat she can't always be the one accepting the blame and the burden on her she has apologized to all of you if you can't accept it then fine but stop using her as the escape route each and every time and i think it was this time they all realized but i don't know why trauma was surprised because trauma was the one who started this behavior of using laura as an escape good and right now caroline has learned from her so i don't see why she was like we are not talking about laura you started something with her friend so right now she thinks she can always use that to escape the fight according to laura trauma came to her room to come and rattle out caroline this was why i realized that all the girls don't owe loyalty to themselves they are all of shit. like it's each one for themselves, God for us all. So truly, you've had a fight with your friend. Why must you go to Laura, who, like, Caroline see as the enemy, and you yourself has been seen as the enemy? I hope Laura didn't say anything. Like, I just want her to keep this level of energy that she's keeping calm, collected, minding her business in her corners. Because Chioma, I feel like she's worse as Caroline. That is why they clicked on the first day. Both of them. They don't owe loyalty to any of the girls. And as for Yabu, if she thinks Joma is going to be loyal to her, I think she's joking. Because the next season is going to be fire. So at the end of the episode, uh, Toyin organized a bonfire for the ladies to go and meet and talk. And they cheers to Toyin, they cheers to themselves. And Toyin also took that chance to announce that she was pregnant. But um, Caroline wasn't there because during the argument, Choma was like, she can leave. And I think Caroline took it truly to heart and left. So this was all that happened in episode 12. And girl, I really, really loved it. If you have any video or movie that you want me to react to, you can comment down below. And do you think Choma 
was the one who started the fight or Yabo was the one who started the fight or Caroline was the one who started the fight and who was at fault. That will be all for today. I am Mushia. Adios.